How does a home blood pressure monitor work? You strap it on, press a button, and seconds later you're staring at numbers like 120 over 80 and a heart rate of 72. But what's actually going on under that cuff? Is it listening to your heartbeat? Squeezing your artery? Reading your pulse with magic? In this video, we're unpacking the fascinating science behind these small but powerful devices and why they're one of the most important tools in home healthcare. Whether you're managing high blood pressure, monitoring your heart health, or just curious about how technology works, understanding your home blood pressure monitor can help you use it more effectively and confidently. We'll walk through what's inside the cuff, how it detects your heartbeat and blood pressure, and how it converts vibrations in your body into the numbers you see on the screen. Let's get started. First, the basics. A home blood pressure monitor usually has two parts. The cuff you wrap around your upper arm or wrist, and the electronic monitor that does the readings. Most modern devices use something called the oscillometric method, a fancy word for measuring tiny vibrations caused by blood flow. So what happens when you press start? Step 1. Inflation. The monitor sends air through a tube and inflates a soft rubber bladder hidden inside the cuff. This bladder tightens around your arm and squeezes the brachial artery shut, temporarily stopping blood flow. That's why it feels tight. And yes, sometimes a little uncomfortable. Step 2. Deflation and detection. Once it's fully inflated, the machine slowly releases the pressure inside the cuff. As it deflates, your blood begins to pulse through the artery again, and each heartbeat creates tiny pressure waves, or vibrations, inside the cuff. Here's the cool part. The air inside that inflatable bladder actually picks up these micro-vibrations. The cuff itself doesn't contain any high-tech sensors. It just acts as a pressure chamber. The real magic happens inside the monitor. Step 3. Pressure Sensors and Calculations A highly sensitive pressure sensor in the monitor detects the fluctuations in air pressure caused by those vibrations. From this, the monitor calculates two key numbers. Systolic pressure, the point when the vibrations first appear. This is the maximum pressure in your arteries when your heart contracts. Diastolic pressure, the point when the vibrations disappear. This is the lowest pressure when your heart rests between beats. And that third number, your heart rate. The monitor times the interval between each vibration, essentially counting how many times your heart beats in a minute. What's inside the cuff? Let's not forget the cuff itself. It looks simple, but inside it holds an inflatable rubber bladder a durable outer fabric with Velcro, and an air tube that connects back to the monitor. No electronics are in the cuff. All sensing and computing happens in the monitor. So every time your heart beats and pulses blood through the artery, the tiny air movements inside the cuff are captured, converted into signals, and finally displayed on screen. Let's wrap this up with some key takeaways. Home blood pressure monitors work using the oscillometric method, by detecting pressure changes, not listening to sounds like a stethoscope. The inflatable cuff temporarily stops blood flow, then slowly releases to catch vibrations from your pulse. A pressure sensor in the monitor reads those vibrations and determines systolic and diastolic pressure, along with your heart rate. The cuff itself is simple, just an air bladder inside fabric. The smart part is all in the monitor. Understanding how your monitor works can help you use it more correctly, from proper cuff placement to trusting the numbers you see. If this helped demystify what's really going on when you check your blood pressure at home, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe for more health and wellness tips after 50. Thanks for watching and take care of that heart.